The JavaScript world is filled with tools, libraries, and frameworks. However, the framework you choose can be either an advantage or a significant drawback to your project. Therefore, it is crucial to explore the pros and cons of each tool. Today, we'll provide you with an overview of Ember, Vue, and Angular as their popularity is growing fast among developers. Let's start with Vue.js. Vue was developed and first released in 2014 by Evan Yu and is widely used by lots of famous companies like Alibaba, BuzzFeed, GitLab, and many others. Why is Vue good? First of all, it is lightweight. If you compare Vue.js with Angular and Ember, you will see that Vue wins this round. Moreover, when switching to Vue after other tools, developers mention how simple it is. Everything is utterly separate. The HTML template, style sheet, and necessary methods. That's why this framework is so easy to develop with. You get a better understanding of which piece of code you need to work on. Another positive side of Vue is the implemented virtual DOM that allows developers to manipulate and render the view. It allows UI to offer better performance as real DOM will not get rendered each time something changes. The developer can render only the differences between real and virtual DOMs. Let's summarize pros of Vue. Its ecosystem is small and fast, simple code structure, clear documentation, ability to develop large-scale templates, simple integration with existing apps and flexibility. For now, using this framework for smaller scale or personal projects is definitely more reliable. Certainly, Vue seems somewhat ambitious, but yet quite perspective. Let's review the cons of Vue. Vue wants to switch between the development of apps with MVC architecture and applications based on state containers, which can be confusing for those who are looking for full-scale solutions. And Vue is offering too much flexibility, which may come as a drawback. In case you are interested to compare Vue with React, check out the link in the description box. We have a great blog post on the topic. The next framework we'll discuss is Ember.js. This framework has existed for years over time, Ember.js has shown how capable its team is in maintaining the framework and integrating up-to-date standards into it. Ember is quite popular and is used by giants like TED, Netflix, LinkedIn, Microsoft, and many others. In fact, Ember.js has made a more significant impact on JavaScript over the past few years than other tools. Don't you think that Ember is one of the most important frameworks? Share your thoughts in the comments. Anyway, the main advantage of this framework is placing convention over configuration. Developers don't have to provide detailed data for the various routes in the app. In general, Ember minimizes DOM and makes it possible to work with large ecosystems. That means that they need to render only the values. We also need to note that Ember boots quickly and is very stable. Its main pros also are scalability, URL-oriented development support, well-structured and clear documentation, high productivity, a large community of programmers. However, the main disadvantage of Ember hides in its main advantage, meaning in the strict and regulated structure of developed applications. Its cons are slow rendering, silent errors, deep linking is not reliable. It's less flexible than Vue.js. The object model implementation makes Ember very heavy, which results in freezes and low performance. Finally, it has lots of added layers. Ember is not suitable for smaller projects, since it can overcomplicate the app. Now we are moving on to our last fighter, Angular. It is a TypeScript-based JavaScript framework by Google. It was released in 2010. Angular can also brag about the apps built with it, from the well-known PayPal, Gmail, Malzi, to lots of other apps and websites. Angular offers a clearly defined framework that allows developers to work in one style and flow. So, if you are a fan of TypeScript, this tool would be a great choice. The pros of using Angular. High performance, server-side rendering, native CLI, ease in testing. Despite all those benefits, Angular has some cons. They are steep learning curve, difficulty in finding relevant guides. The framework is still under development and lots of parts are continually being changed. Trying to choose the framework for your project, you will be comparing them for sure. Vue combines the most outstanding features of other libraries and frameworks while still getting constant updates. If you have an old web application that needs a more modern engine, the Vue.js framework will be your best choice. Angular doesn't differ much from Vue, 
It is a bit heavier, but not significantly. It offers the same high performance, yet giving developers less freedom and pretty much forcing them to do everything the Angular way. Ember.js will be the perfect choice if you are looking for a well-structured and reliable framework. It will be great for projects where there is a big development team, and everyone needs to understand the written code and contribute to the project as a team. Thus, should it be Vue or Ember, or even Angular? There is no right answer. After all, it is just a matter of the project you are working on and the needs you have. And if you're struggling in finding reliable developers, you're most welcome to contact our Jelvix team. We are a software development company providing UI, UX design, engineering, and testing services to top companies and enterprises. Find our contact details in the description box. Thank you for watching our video. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe, and hit the bell button.